people, like firefighters, really have to work outside despite the extreme cold. Yona Gavino is live at the fire station in Cudahy with more on that. Yona. Mike and Carol, the firefighters here are very prepared for the cold weather, but that means they still feel it, even they're wearing the, all these layers. Nick Hazy has been a firefighter for eight years, but this winter is different than any other he's experienced. This is definitely the coldest winter since I've worked at this department and probably for my fire career. Firefighters have to limit their time out in the cold and cover up any skin that might be exposed. Some of the firefighters use hand warmers that keep them inside the gloves, inside their pockets, and even inside their boots. They wear the same uniform in the summer and the winter. It's made for extreme weather. Hazi still feels the chill. Absolutely, the wind goes right through you. I mean, we wear all that gear and it goes right through us. It's that cold out. Those layers can freeze. The firefighters bring extra gloves, hats, and shirts to change into. They also keep an eye on the equipment inside the trucks. The plumbing, we empty it. We make sure there's no water in it so it can't freeze. They stay prepared, but the battalion chief says Says they haven't gotten a lot of cold weather calls this year. And I think people are understanding how um, important it is to prepare for the cold weather. And these guys aren't the only ones out working in this freezing cold weather. Coming up on Live at 6, you'll hear from a Milwaukee police officer who chose to be out on bike patrol of all days. For now, live in Cudahy, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. Wow. Amazing. This weather's nothing to take lightly. Thank you, Yona. Well,